मीत पुनर्जन्म दुखालय अशाश्वत नाप्नुवि महात्मा संसिधि परमागता दिस वर्ष यू हेव बीन डिस्कसिंग इन कॉन फ्राइडे कृष्ण सेज दैट एनी वन हू कम्स टू मी of course krishna is everywhere but still he has got his abode the difference between krishna and ordinary human being or ordinary living being is that uh, we can remain at one place but krishna goloko e vani vasati Akhilatma Bhuto, although he has got his abode in the transcendental kingdom, which is called Goloka Vrindavan. The Vrindavan city from where I have come, this Vrindavan is called Bhoma Vrindavan. Bhoma Vrindavan means the same Vrindavan descended. on this earth just like krishna descends on this earth out of his own internal potency similarly his dham or his abode also descends the vindavan dham or in other words when krishna descends on this earth he uh manifest himself in that particular land therefore that land is so sacred vrinda but <clears throat> krishna has his own abode and krishna says anyone who comes to my abode ma mupita punar janma dukhalam asasatam uh, he does not get again rebirth in this material world which is full of three fold miseries dukhalam asasatam na apnuvanti why because mahatmana they are called mahatma perhaps you have heard the name this word mahatma our leader mahatma gandhi he was known as mahatma but mahatma is not the title of a politician uh, <laughs> mahatma here mahatma means the first class krishna conscious man who is eligible to enter into the abode of krishna he is called mahatma mahatmana and the mahatmana's perfection is this to prepare in this life in this nice human form of life uh, with all facilities of nature uh, we can command over the nature we can utilize the nature to our best interest uh, the animals cannot so all these facilities should be utilized for uh, becoming a mahatma or becoming eligible to enter into the kingdom of krishna because if we can do that then there is no more birth in this material world which is full of three fold miseries we have several times discussed what are these three fold miseries but uh, every one of you know that uh, somewhere or other we are in miserable condition either pertaining to the mind or to this body or natural disturbance or from other friends or other animal so there is all is some kind of misery inflicted upon us that is the situation of this material world the krishna says that this is a place you cannot avoid this miseries they are meant for that unless the miseries are there you cannot uh, 
come to the Krishna consciousness. Uh, that is an impetus and a hell to elevate you to Krishna consciousness. Uh, <coughs> an, an intelligent person, he, he can think that I do not want miseries, but the miseries are inflicted upon me by force. Uh, nobody wants. Uh, then he should question, you know, why these miseries are inflicted upon me by force? Uh, unfortunately, the modern civilization, they set aside, oh, let me suffer. Uh, let me cover it by some intoxication, that's all. You see? Uh, but as soon as the intoxication is over, again I am in the same point. So this is not the solution. You cannot make a solution of the miseries of your life by artificial intoxication. That is not possible. <clears throat> you have to make the solution by this Krishna consciousness. If you always remain in Krishna consciousness, then gradually you will develop and you will be able to leave or quit your this material body in Krishna consciousness so that immediately will be transferred to the planet where Krishna is. That is the process. So Mahamopeta, <coughs> and if you can attain that situation, that is the perfection, that is the highest perfection of your life. Sangsiddhim Paramam. Paramam means the highest. Uh, highest perfection. <coughs> then uh, People may inquire, well, you say uh, that to enter into the planet of Krishna is the highest perfection, but we are trying to enter into the moon planet. Is it not perfection? Somebody you may question. Yes. <clears throat> In answer, this tendency to enter into the higher planets uh, uh, is always there in human mind. Don't think that we have advanced and we have invented this uh, Sputnik for entering into the moon, uh, moon planet or sun planet. These tendencies are always there. A living entity's name is Sarvaga. Sarvaga. He wants to travel everywhere. That is his nature. Ah. Just like you sometimes, you Americans, you go to India or Europe, uh, you cannot stay uh, stagnant at a place. That is our nature. Uh, so this tendency that we are trying to enter into the moon planet, this is not a new thing. Uh, <coughs> they are trying, maybe by different process, by yoga process, by other process, everyone is trying to enter into the higher planets. So Krishna says, yes, you are trying to enter into the moon planet or any other planet, that's all right. But you must remember, what is that? Abrahma bhuvana lokana punaravarti najjuna. Abrahma bhuvana lokana. This, this universe, uh, the, the universe is divided into fourteen divisions of planetary system. Fourteen divisions. We are just in the middle planetary system. Uh, there are fourteen. Chaturdas Bhuvan. Uh, there are seven down and seven up. We are in the middle. So Krishna says, the Abrahma Bhuvana Loka. Oh, what we speak of moon planet or sun planet or Venus, if you even enter into the highest planet, which is called Brahma Loka, still there is birth and death, punaravarti, no? repetition of birth and death, repetition of birth. Uh, punaravarti means just like I have got this body, now uh, say I live eighty years, now I am seventy-one. So after nine years, I'll have to change this body. Ah. 
sure. Uh, there is nobody can, by scientific process, can stay here. No. That is not allowed. You have to change yourself. This is called punaravakti. Uh, changing, just like you change your old dress. Similarly, you have to change your old body. Again enter into another new body. So this is called punaravakti. So Krishna says <coughs> that if you uh, enter in this material world, if you enter even to the highest planet, uh, what to speak of this moon? The moon planet is just our neighbor. Uh, yeah, your modern scientists have calculated that if we want to go to the highest planet, it will take this same speed of Sputnik, 20,000 miles per hour. Uh, still it will take 40,000 of years to reach the highest planet. That is the scientific view. But there is such planet where living entities like you and me are there. Uh, we have got this information from Bhagavad Gita and other Vedic literature. All planets that full of living entities don't think simply we, on the earth we are here and in all planets are vacant. No. From your experience you can see that no place in this earth is vacant without living entities. Even you dig earth, you will find some warm. You go deep into the water, you will find some living entities. You just analyze that uh, outer space, air, you will find so many living entities. Uh, so how you can conclude that other planets are without living entities? They are all full of living entities. So Krishna says that uh, in the Brahma Loka, in the highest planet of this universe, even if you enter there, Abrahma Bhuvana Lokana Punaravati Narjuna. My dear Arjun, if you enter even to the highest planet, uh, still you will have to uh, accept that reputation of birth and death. Uh, you cannot get rid of it. Mahamupetha, uh, again he says, as in the former fact, he says, Mahamudita, if you reach to my planet, uh, then you haven't got to come back again in this, in this miserable material world. Again, he says repeatedly that uh, if you <coughs> enter into the highest planet, planet of this universe, it's still your that uh, reputation of birth and death will continue. But Mahamudita, if you come to my planet, Mamupetu to Kauntya, Punat Janmana Vidyati. Oh, that same very thing is again confirmed here. Punat Janmana Vidyati. Oh, there is no more rebirth. No more. You get your eternal life. Oh. Uh, we should be very serious about this problem, how to get our eternal life blissful and full of knowledge. That is the duty of human life. Uh, we have forgotten this. Our, what is our aim of life? Nate vidu sartha gati hi Vishnu. They do not know that their interest, self-interest is how to get that eternal blissful life in the spiritual planets. Uh, that is his interest. Uh, why they have forgotten durasayaji bhiratthamanina? Uh, the people have been entrapped by this material glimmer, by skyscraper and big factories and uh, political activities, these are entrapped. Uh, although he cannot live, he knows that however skyscraper I may make, I will not be allowed to live here. I will have to leave it. And I do not know where I am going. Therefore, the solution is that we should not spoil our energy for having a skyscraper. We should uh, employ our energy to elevate ourselves to Krishna consciousness so that we can, after leaving this material body, we can enter into that spiritual planet. That is the problem. <clears throat> so Krishna consciousness is the necessity. It is not uh, a, a religious formula or some uh, spiritual recreation. No. It is the most uh, important thing that we should imbibe in our life. Mahamupetta. Mahamupetta to Kuntiya, 
पुनर्जन्म न विद्यते अगेन अगेन देन यू मे आस देन वाई पीपल आर सो मच एंग्स एज टू गो टू दी आदर प्लैनेट the description of other planet is there also in the simad bhagavatam uh, now here it is said the brahma loka because uh, there are many yogis and many uh, i mean philosophers they aim at being elevated to the higher planets by their yogic process uh, why because the facilities of life in the higher planets are more than in this planet the duration of life the enjoyment and the amenities and uh, everything is better thousand times better thousand times better uh, so people like somebody likes that we shall go to the heavenly planet or this planet that planet uh, now in some of the description of the a higher planet is given here what is that sahasra yuga parjantam marahat jat brahmano vidu ratrin yuga sahasrantam te ahratro vidu janaha now here is a nice description of the highest planet of this universe what is that na sahasra yuga parjantam sahasra yuga means वन युवा मीन्स फोर्टी थ्री लैक्स ऑफ इयर्स देन दैट मीन्स फोर मिलियन थ्री हंड्रेड थाउजेंड ऑफ इयर्स दैट इज द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ वन युवा एंड सहस्र युवा एंड सहस्र मीन्स थाउजेंड दैट इज फोर मिलियन एंड थ्री हंड्रेड थाउजेंड ऑफ इयर्स just multiply it by another 1000 now we calculate i am not mathematician you can calculate what is that duration so that duration long duration uh, 43 uh, 50 uh, into 1000 that means 43 50 again 30 now what is that duration that is calculated calculated to be 12 hours of brahma as you have got 12 hours from morning and 6 to evening 6 so this duration of period in the brahma loka is 43 at and and, and 50 into 30 oh, just imagine that is 12 hours similarly uh, another 12 hours night same period so that becomes one complete 24 hours of brahma brahma loka and such one month such one year and 100 years duration of life is there sahasra yuga parjantam arahat jat brahmano vidu that is the duration of life there uh, you cannot calculate how long you can live there uh, uh, but is still after so many years millions and trillions of years life will have to die death is there death you cannot unless you go into the spiritual planets there is no escape from death so abrahma bhuvanandu abrahma yuga parjantam sahasra yuga parjantam arhat jat brahmano vidu ratrin yuga sahasrantang te aho ratra vidu jana अब भक्तिया भक्त सर्वा प्रभवंती अहोरागम है नाउ दिस ड्यूरेशन ऑफ ब्रह्मा दटीरियल मैनिफेस्टेशन इन द लोअर स्टेटस दिस प्लैनेटरी सिस्टम वेन ब्रह्मा एज डेज इज फिनिश ऑल दिस प्लैनेटरी सिस्टम बिकम्स कवर्ड इन वाटर देर इज डिस्टेशन डिस्टेशन and when again brahma the uh, supreme person in the brahma loka he rises up then again creation begins that is the law of creation oh. so abhaktat bhaktayo sarva prabhavanti ahuragame aha aha means in the daytime 
when there is day time, uh, day ten, uh, 12 hours, then this material manifestation, what you see, all these planets, they are manifested, they are seen. But when there is night time, the, all this planetary system becomes merged into devastation of water. So, Ratragame Priyante Tatraiva of Bhakta Sangame. Ratragame means when the night is there, then again uh, uh, all these planets become uh, uh, invis- uh, invisible. Uh, they are devastated within the water. This is the nature of this material world. Bhūta-grāma-sayevāyāṁ bhūtta-bhūtta-pralīyā. So, uh, because the whole planetary system become, uh, um, uh, I'm sorry, into devastation of water, therefore all living entities, uh, they at that time prolong devastation, they all die. Bhūta-grāma-sayevāyāṁ bhūtta-bhūtta-pralīyā. So this nature is going on. When it is the daytime, they are again coming out, and when there is night time, uh, they again all become sparse into this water. Ratragame avasa pratha pravati ahuragame avasa. Avasa means although they do not like devastation, the devastation will come and, uh, I will say, overflood all this. And again, when the day after come, again gradually the waters will disappear. Just like in this pla- planet, uh, the three-fourth is covered with water, and gradually land is coming out. It takes time. And one day it will come when there will be no water, simply land. There will be no water. That is the process of nature. Parastasmatu uh. bhava anya. Parastasmatu bhava anya abhakta bhaktya sanatana. But my dear Rajo, uh, beyond this place, uh, sometimes it is appearing, sometimes it is disappearing. Uh, beyond this, there is another nature. Uh, uh, just take this information from Bhagavad Gita. We cannot calculate what is the length and breadth of this universe. But there are millions and millions of universes like this within this material world. And above this material world, there is another sky, which is called spiritual sky. And in that sky, the planets are all eternal, and their life is eternal also. This manifestation, this material manifestation, is only three-fourth part of the whole manifestation, both spiritual and material. You will find in the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, ekāṅsi na sthitu jagat. Uh, ekāṅsi means one-fourth part. These manifestations are one-fourth part. And three-fourth part manifestation is beyond this material sky. This material sky is covered. Uh, they, you, when you see to the sky, you find that ball-like covering. That is the covering. So millions and millions of Miles, the covering is there, and after penetrating that covering, you can enter into the spiritual sky. That is open sky. So here you get the information that parastasmatu bhava anya. Bhava means the nature, another nature. Just like you have got experience of this material nature. Similarly, there is another a spiritual nature. Uh, just like the material nature and spiritual nature, you have got experience here also. What is that? Just like you are yourself combination of material and spiritual. You are yourself spirit. So long you are within this body, within this matter, it is moving. And as long, as soon as you are out of this body, it is as good as stone. So as you can perceive here, within yourself, uh, what is matter of a spirit, similarly there is a spiritual world also. The two natures are there. As you can experience two natures here, 
the material nature and spiritual nature. This we have discussed in the seventh chapter of Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Uh, the spiritual nature is called superior nature. And this material nature is called inferior nature. Uh, so this material nature, beyond this material nature, there is a superior nature, spiritual nature. Uh, this information we have got. Now, it is not possible but to understand these these things by experimental knowledge. Just like although you are seeing by microscope and other instruments, astronomical instruments, there are millions and millions of stars actually you are seeing, but you cannot approach. Your senses, your means are so insufficient that you cannot approach. What to speak of other planets you cannot approach, even the moon planet which is the nearest. So just try to understand the how much incapable you are. So being incapable, don't try to understand God and God's kingdom by experimental knowledge. This is foolishness. It is not possible. Oh, you have to understand by hearing Bhagavad Gita and there is no other way. That's the same example. You cannot understand who is your father by experimental knowledge. You have to simply believe your mother. Similarly, you have to believe this Bhagavad Gita. Then you can get all this information. There is no possibility of experimental knowledge. But if you become advanced in Krishna consciousness, you realize. You realize. Just like whatever we are speaking, Ah, we are firmly convinced. We are not blindly speaking. So you will also be. Ah, Swami was It This knowledge will be revealed to you. If you stick to the Krishna consciousness, this knowledge you will actually understand. Yes, there is spiritual kingdom, there is God, and I have to go there and I must prepare there, just like. You understand everything while you go to some other country. So these are all practical things. If you take out this Krishna consciousness, ah, you will understand all these practical and the whole problem of your life will be solved. Thank you very much. If you have any question, you can. Day that's the uh, birth of the universe and night dissolution. Is that also Brahma's day and night? Just like their night differs. Now, it, uh, uh, suppose you take a small jar uh, at night. Of course, I do, I do not see here in, in, in India. We find some uh, small worm. Uh, their duration of life is only a few hours in the night. Uh, they, 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 they get their birth, they grow, and they beget children, and in the morning we'll find so many ones dead, you see, on the floor. It, uh, this month especially, this is called Diwali Puga. So it, that is also a, a living entity. But if you speak to them, oh, there is a human being whose life is, uh, our duration of life within, uh, uh, he has got, that is only night. Uh, he has got day, and the, the day and night makes one day, one uh, uh, um, twenty-four hours. Uh, such twenty-four hours into thirty makes their month, and then thirty, twelve months make one year. Oh, he will be puzzled to understand. Oh, how it is possible? Similarly, we are very teeny uh, entities in this planet, and if we hear of other planets as it described here, we think, oh, how it is possible? Don't calculate with your standard. Uh, we are most insignificant part of this universe. Uh, don't be puffed up with your false, uh, this material science. Uh, there are so many things to be understand, to understand, you see. Uh, so <clears throat> this is the information from Bhagavad Gita, and uh, we should uh, try to understand and realize them 
and practically apply them in our life uh, by Krishna consciousness, then our life will be uh, successful. Any other question? Don't type it very nice. It will break. So, let us have Kirtan again. 